Hello, this is a video on casting out nines. Casting out nines is an easy to use strategy to check a calculation, whether it's addition, subtraction, multiplication, or division. It can catch errors. It does not 100% guarantee that the answer is correct. Before the advent of calculators, it was still frequently used by shopkeepers, for example. A historical note, the casting out nines process was transmitted to Europe by the Arabs, but it was probably developed somewhere on the Indian subcontinent and is therefore sometimes also called the Hindu check. The process was described by Fibonacci in his book. Now I'll describe the basic process and then I'll do some examples. We assume we have made a calculation and we'd like to check the answer. Step one, for each of the numbers of the original calculation, we reduce them to a smaller one digit number by using the casting out nines process, which I'll be showing you. Then we take each of these digits and combine them using the operation from our calculation and further reduce this using casting out nines again to a single digit. Secondly, we take the answer from our calculation and cast out nines to get a single digit. Then we compare the digit from step 1a and the digit from step 2. And if they are equal, our calculation is correct, or at least probably correct. If they are unequal, we know that we have an error. So let's take a look at an example. In our first example, we're going to be using 485. So let me get a pen here, maybe a blue pen. And I'll take 485, and I'm going to take those digits. 4, 8 is 12, and 5 is 17. Then I take those digits, 1 and 7, and I get 8. Then I take my other number, 776. Those digits add up to 20. 2 and 0 is 2. Now I'm going to combine the 8 and the 2 using my operation. Since my operation is multiplication, I get 16, and then I cast out 9s again to get 7. Now I look at my answer. 376, 360. If I add up those digits, I get 25, and then 2 and 5 is 7. And since this answer of 7 and this answer of 7 are the same, my answer is probably correct. I'd like to do this example again, but this time I'm going to use an even faster process. I look at the 485, and I look for 9s, and I'm going to cast out 9s. 4 and 5 are 9, so those get casted out, and I get 8. 776, seven, well, that's 20. There really aren't any obvious 9s, so I'll go to 20. And then I can cast out 18, because 18 is 2 times 9. Then I combine these to get 16, and if I subtract 9 from that, I get 7. Now in my answer, I have 376, 360. 3 and 6 is 9, I cast that out. Another 3 and 6 is 9, I cast that out. So I get 7. So once again, I see that I get the same digit of 7 and 7. So my answer is probably correct. The next example I would like to do is an example of addition. So here we have 921. I can cast out that 9, and that gives me a 3. 504, 9 gets cast, casted out, I get 0. 6,152, 6, 1, and 2 is 9, so I get a 5. 
I'm going to combine these since my operation is addition, I get an 8. And now when I look at my answer of 7477, let's see what we've got here. 21 and 4 is 25. And if I cast out 9 and 9, that gives me 7. And now I see that these two answers are not the same. Therefore, there is an error in my calculation, so I need to go back and find out what that error would be. I hope you've enjoyed this video on casting out nines. Have a great day.